Um, many of us are coming out of the pandemic loaded with debt, overdue bills, whether it's because you lost a job, you had unplanned expenses you didn't know about. There's a number of reasons, but you don't have to dig out of debt alone because the first step is to have a plan, and this is a good place to start. Get Good With Money, 10 Steps to Becoming Financially Whole is the latest book from our next guest, Tiffany, the budget nista Alice, who joins us this morning to tell us how we can master our money. Good morning, Tiffany. Good morning. All right, so this is not your typical financial book, right? Get Good With Money. What was your mission when you sat down to write it? Well, my mission when I sat down to write Get Good With Money was to provide the step-by-step -step guide that brought you from the bare beginnings, be basics, all the way through something more complicated like, like estate planning. So it's these 10 steps that we all need to be good with our money. All right, so you know everybody when they, when they listen to the money advice, they're at different points in their life. People have different things saved up for. Some are saving for marriage, others are saving for home, kids, college, what, be it what it may. Can the strategies in your book really apply to all stages, all incomes? Yes, yeah, so before I actually became the budgetista, I was a school teacher and we practiced something called differentiated learning because kids are different at different levels in the mm -hmm. classroom. So I was really mindful about, okay, how do I create a guide that no matter where you are in life, 21 years old, just graduated college, 55, considering creating an estate plan that you could find value in this book. So yes, it can. I love how it's very interactive, right? It comes with different toolkits, checklists, but there are, are lists that you ask people to put down, which is, you know, your debt list and then is it your savings list? Your money list, the money which list. is really a budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do we use those? So a budget is the cornerstone for the rest of your financial life. And it's also the first step toward financial wholeness, uh, a, a, a term that I coined. And a budget is really just a list of what your money is doing coming in and what your money is doing going out mm. within a 30-day a, a span. And, and I teach you the tips and tricks of how to create an effective budget that is automated and linked to the proper bank account. Yeah, I think that's what it's all about, automation, right? Because mm -hmm. nobody's about to take out their pen and paper and try to carry the one and subtract the five. <laughs> anyway, one of the steps is called save like a squirrel now you know i've tried to to shove money in my mouth like a squirrel didn't quite work no. what do you mean by that not much of a return on that so what i find is that you know i live in the east coast as well squirrels are super savvy savers right they know when acorns are in abundance they work the hardest and save the most and when financial winter comes for squirrels that's when they live off that money or the acorns that they've set aside so i try to teach us human beings who struggle with savings how when you have a raise or a refund check how to lean into it so you can put more of it up so when your financial winter well, comes you have something to eat off of yeah but some people might say okay i'm getting that refund check that extra boost i'm going to pay off some debt rather than save what is your advice there so it's, I think if 2020 didn't teach us anything, is that savings is mm. really our first line of defense. And I do want you to pay down debt while simultaneously saving. I don't want you to overdo it on the debt because savings right. is going to be the thing that stops your financial hardship in its tracks. And if you are debt free but have no savings, you're going to get right back into debt to take care of those emergencies. That's a really good point. It's not one or the other. It's actually both. Um, and you also invite readers to invest like an insider. But the problem is a lot of us are not insiders. So how do we yes. do that? Well, one, I want people to understand that there's really two types of investments. So there's investing for retirement, and then there's investing for wealth. Everybody should absolutely prioritize investing for retirement because we all hope to one day not have to work. Investing for wealth is optional, and I show you how to automatically invest for both. So that way, not only can you improve your life now, but mm -hmm. you can also make sure that your old person self is also doing well. Yeah, um, whenever I hear the term investing and stocks, I mean, like, my eyes gloss over. <laughs> um, but you can also encourage people to form their own money team. Now, are you saying hire somebody like a financial expert because then that costs money? Well, you don't necessarily, it depends where you are, right? So maybe if you are 21 years old, your money team is just an accountability partner. It's your college roommate. And together mm. you're working on your finances together. But maybe you're 33 and you've got children. So part of your money team might be hiring an attorney to help you create your will. Mm -hmm. You might have a CPA to do taxes if you have a business. Right. So it really depends on where you are in life. But we all do need support. 
It's true. And if you're good with it, sometimes you can find out some of the accounts that you have with banks come with a money team, if you will, yes. right? That you don't even have to pay for even just minimally if you do. All right. Thanks or so you. much. Yeah, exactly. Can you be a part of our money <laughs> you're team? You're part of my money team <laughs> yes, now. I Welcome, can. Tiffany. You'll never hear the end of me. <laughs> the budget vista. All right. So get good with money is available now wherever books are sold. Tiffany, it was a pleasure. Good to see you. Tiffany's like, I changed my number. Me. All right. Please don't call me.